Hey everybody. So I came up here this morning um, with the truck because I've got the road dozed well enough now that I can get up here in four wheel drive. Brought my chainsaw up and we're going to take down this widow maker over here. All right, so what do I mean by widow maker? Well, I'm going to be dozing um, an access road into this hemlock forest here and right where I'm going to be bringing the road through I have this problem as you can see this hemlock got blown down an ice storm and it hung up on another hemlock that had the top knocked off it on an, on an ice storm so I'm going to be cutting this out of here because the dozer is going to be coming right through here. So let's see how this goes. Kind of a tricky cut. Obviously, this is a pretty dangerous situation because although I notch and cut the log to kind of fall out in this direction, which would then cause the upper piece to kind of fall down with it and go that way, I've cut through the tree almost entirely and it's basically just being held there by the weight of the cross piece. So now it's a pretty dangerous situation and I'm going to have to be real careful here uh, not to be in the way depending upon which way this thing thing goes. Success. All right, now we gotta cut this up, get it out of the way because this is right where the dozer will be coming through. So, three weeks since laparoscopy, uh, surgery for hernia. And um, I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty strong. Um, probably should not be doing this kind of work quite yet, but you know, I heal fast and I feel pretty good. And you know, I'm being careful. I'm not like straining significantly uh, doing this work. 
So we're out here, we're having fun on a nice uh, August day here in New England with a breeze. Uh, a few mosquitoes still out bouncing around, but um, we are really assessing the woodlot here. I do want to get a forester in here and start taking a look at a forestry plan that would um, call for basically going through and taking anything that's diseased out, anything like uh, this that we just took out um, that's uh, basically clogging up the woods, clogging up the canopy uh, for other trees to be able to, to grow and expand. So between um, trees that should be thinned out and trees that probably have gotten to the point where they should be harvested, where they're not going to grow anymore or they're susceptible to uh, getting disease or whatever, um, we take those out. And then we have a real sustainable 18-acre uh, forest here, uh, really full of great eastern white pine, eastern hemlock, and red oak. Um, pretty valuable uh, piece of property for logging. And because I'm not in a rush and because I really want to manage this um, woodlot appropriately, um, I can wait and do harvests when prices are peaking. And that's the thing with this market. It's a commodity market, and depending upon uh, the demand for uh, lumber and timber um, and logs at the sawmill, you can time your uh, operation to the point where you can maximize your profit. So that's the goal. <laughs> Move the camera. hours into the clearing and the dozer work today and it's a beautiful day anyway in New England it's probably in the 70s breezy and uh, just really clear Canadian air has come on in here it's really nice anyway let's take a little walk and um, I'll kind of show you how this is looking as I cut these um, skitter roads down through the property Again, this is 18 acres, heavily wooded. Uh, the main species in here is hemlock, eastern white pine, and red oak. A lot of it is marketable now at this point, uh, given uh, the number of years this woodlot has um, been growing, age of the trees. So the one thing about New England, though, I will say, 
especially this part of um, northern Massachusetts, is it is bony. There's a lot of rocks here, um, pushed down by the glacier back in the day. There's certain places where when the, great, uh, when the glacier receded, God, it left like just huge piles of nothing but ledge. And um, a lot of this property um, is kind of like hillside ledge uh, rock. And so, you know, the dozer can push it, but I would imagine there's some spots here where uh, you'd have such heavy ledge, you probably could not uh, dig a cellar hole without, um, without having to blast. Or at least, you know, have a machine with a, a hammer that can they can bust it up but you can see um, what I did today I came in through here and this had a lot of rocks in it as you can see a tremendous amount of rock this area right here was just I dug a big hole just to push all of this rock out of here and then I brought material um, carved it off of here this hillside as you can see by the different color of the of the ground that um, I got into some gravel here on this hillside which is good to know it's good to know where you have uh, gravel and fill material um, when you're developing property um, what you're seeing out here is really um, pretty much hemlock this is a hemlock grove in here and here's this just a hillside of rock hillside of ledge and it took me a while to cut this um, cut this road down through here it was just filled with rocks what you can see though is um, there's a white pine that's I would say is marketable it's about a 20 incher um, and there's a lot of them that size here's a here's another one right here um, there are bigger ones but anything about this size and larger um, would definitely be cut. Now, here's an oak, a red oak. Nice tree. Over here, you have a hemlock. So, I think I'm going to knock it off for today. Get something to drink, get something to eat. Maybe I'll come up here and take a walk later, early evening, and see what's going on. Another good oak tree. There's some real good white pines in here for cutting. One there, one there, another one here, another one there, and here's a smaller one. This one we'd let this one uh, grow for another 10 years. There's another right there. And here's another beautiful oak tree. Red oak. Well, it's amazing how fast the summer goes by. Just about mid-August. And my time here for the summer will be coming to an end. September 3rd, I'll be flying back to Vegas, picking up my van, picking up my gear, and starting van life again for another couple months. I'm going to be heading up to Idaho and Montana, spend most of September and into October, and... Um, just to, I just enjoy it up there in the Rocky Mountains in September. Um, there's nothing like it. 
it's just gorgeous. So today we're just gonna, we cut some trees and now we're driving out of the logging road here and uh, go get some lunch.